New York City is facing a level of homelessness not seen since the Great Depression in the 1930s. That's according to the Coalition for the Homeless, a not-for-profit. As of mid-August, there were more than 110,000 people sleeping in the city's shelter system each night. And that number doesn't include the thousands of unsheltered people who sleep on the streets. Compounding the chronic problem is an influx of asylum seekers, who now make up more than half the sheltered population. Juan de la Cruz at the Coalition for the Homeless sees the impact firsthand. Um, for example, here at St. Bartholomew's Church, where we start serving, we were seeing on average anywhere from 250 to 275 people, more or less regularly. Um, once the new arrivals started coming, our numbers got up over 400 people. It's not gone unnoticed by the city's unsheltered population. Although I have to wait no for all these channels, and they thinking I'm busting those of people from other places and giving them space. To get. Why can't we get first dibs? New York State has been bound by a decades-old consent decree from a class action lawsuit to provide shelter to people without homes. That mandate has become a point of contention between the city and the state. Now we're getting people from all over the globe. Mayor Eric Adams says the city is running out of money, space, and personnel to care for asylum seekers. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. We're getting 10,000 migrants a month. And everyone is saying it's New York City's problem. Adams has called for more support, including a way to expedite pathways to work authorization for asylum seekers. A barrier that surprises some new arrivals, says Jeffrey Newman, founder of Backpacks for the Street, a nonprofit. And I think that we don't have, there's, there's no infrastructure here to allow people to figure out what, how they move through that process and what that process is. Um, and the same thing for the people who are, who are homeless already and existing here. Uh, there is no sort of, it's a broken system. And where Mayor Adams sees no end in sight to the migrant influx, City University of New York professor Philip Llanos isn't so sure. He separates the more recent problem around new arrivals from the chronic issue of homelessness. I think that the, uh, the crisis around asylum seekers will pass. Um, and of course, there are federal responses that need to be um, made and um, I, th I don't think this is going to stay on like this, but the issue of chronic homelessness among single adults and families will continue in New York City um, as, as it continues to become less and less affordable.